Opening statements are expected to begin Monday in Delaware. In Dominion Voting Systems, $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against Fox News. Dominion alleging the network amplified former President Trump and his allies rigged election claims in 2020, despite key hosts not even believing it themselves. But Fox News argues the claims were newsworthy and protected by the First Amendment. Joining us now is Susan Constantine, a jury consultant and president of the Human Behavior Academy. Good morning, Susan. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for inviting me. Um, I have a lot of questions for you here. My first, straight out of the gate, you know, this case involves, it's not just politics, but it's media and it's big media. Some of the biggest names in this industry. Could you break down what type of jurors uh, are each side going to be looking for here? Yes, this is going to be a highly emotionally charged case because people that will be there, most people, are very um, passionate about their belief systems and who they voted for. So I think that that's, we need to look at that first of all. <clears throat> when we're looking at a plaintiff um, juror, um, those are the ones that we're looking for that would award higher damages that are more punitive. So those might be uh, high income earners, those are very educated people. They might have a finance background. They have no problem with hiring, firing. Um, they're supervisors or people of authority, mm -hmm. okay? On the flip side of that, a defendant on this case is because of case, you know, um, Dominion does win. We don't want to have on the defense side that they would be as punitive. So we're looking at those low middle class workers, those that really, uh, when they're looking at high awards, they may look at this being ridiculous, over the top, uh, have maybe not quite a strong concept of why those award damages would be. I mean, 1.8 billion is more right. than they could ever fathom. Okay. So, the other thing, can we just touch a little bit more on the politics of this? It's my understanding that these potential jurors can't be asked about their party affiliation, how they vote. So, so if that's the case, Susan, how are we guaranteed that this is a fair trial? Uh, and with that, are you also worried about stealth jurors as well? Yeah, we are worried about stealth jurors. So the thing is, we have to seek to understand. So I think eliciting information from uh, the jurors is really important to be able to figure out what their value systems are. The difference between fact and opinion, what they consider being fact versus opinion. A lot of times people will take um, a, a, a belief system and consider it being a fact when it's just really an opinion. So that's one of the things that I'm really looking for. A stealth juror is could be from both sides, somebody that wants to be on the jury because they see that they could um, be more punitive to the other side, use that to their strategic advantage, or maybe possibly for being on the one politics. of the biggest <laughs> yeah. cases in history. Yeah. Also, Susan, I'm, unfortunately, I got to let you go, but I wanted to get into location. You know, the, the county where this is happening leans Democrat. Joe Biden yeah. obviously was a senator there. There's a lot more we could unfold here, but I thank you for your time on a Friday. Appreciate it. We'll have you back. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.